Hi, this video will teach you how to form expressions using algebra. But first of all, let's remind ourselves what algebra is. Algebra is the area of maths where letters are used to represent unknown numbers or unknown quantities. An algebraic expression is where the value of a letter has different possibilities. At this point, we don't need to worry about what number is being represented by the letter. In algebra, we can use any letter to represent the unknown number. To begin with, we're going to use X because this is a commonly used letter. We are going to use concrete materials to help us understand different expressions. We will use an interlocking cube to represent our unknown number and a base tens one cube to represent one. Let's start with writing the expression that is represented by three interlocking cubes. We could say that this expression is x add x add x, or three lots of x. Mathematically, we would say three multiplied by x. In algebra, we would write this as three x. Can you write an expression for this image? Pause here and have a go. There are seven interlocking cubes, so we have seven multiplied by x. We write this as 7x. Next, let's look at expressions where we are adding 1s. To represent the expression 4x plus 2, we would use 4 interlocking cubes, 1 for each lot of x, and 2 1s cubes. How would you represent the expression 2x plus 5? Pause here and think about how many of each cube you would use. If you have cubes, you could create the expression too. How did you get on? We should have two interlocking cubes, one for each lot of x, and five ones cubes. What expression would you use to represent the number five less than x? We would use the expression x minus five. Now let's have a go at forming expressions in different ways. We could use a bar model to represent the expression 4x. Each of the parts of the bar would represent x because there are four equal parts. I think of a number, double it and then subtract 7. What expression could we use to represent this? My number is unknown, so we would use x to represent it. First, I double the number, so we could call this 2x, and then I subtract 7, so my expression is 2x subtract 7. Pause here and form an expression to represent this statement. I think of a number, halve it, and then add 3. Here is the expression we can use to represent the statement. Half x add 3. This bar represents x. What would each part of the bar be equal to? That's right, there are eight equal parts. So the value of each part would be x divided by eight, or one eighth of x. What expression could you write to represent the perimeter of a square with sides of length x centimeters? A square has all sides the same length, so the perimeter of the square will be 4 times the length. In this case, that is 4 times x, or 4x. I hope this has helped you understand how to form algebraic expressions. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so why not go and check them out?